Welcome to your first month of the year forecast. So this is for January 2020. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. I'll be doing your general money, love, sex, health, and oracle. All right, let's take a look. Oh, you're moving. Hmm. It looks like you are going to be making some quick decisions this month about moving, selling off your place, or buying a new place because of some hmm, separation or heartbreak issues, okay? It looks like you're also dealing with someone who's a very stubborn earth sign. And when it comes to your workplace, be very careful because there is a fire sign who's been stealing credits from you. Listen to your gut instinct and you already know who this is. Even if, let's say for example that their sun rising is, you know, their their sun sign is not, um, it's not a fire sign. Um, sometimes people can actually act at a certain sign, so you, you better check them out. Okay. single Aries looks like you're still dealing with somebody from the past which is a water sign but I feel like if you're still you know like uh, trying to hold on to your ex and the two of you are still seeing each other or still being intimate with one another I feel like this is the month that either one of you will be walking away from each other okay well, you have the key to this situation. What is the real answer and choice or decision that you have to make? Because I feel like it is your emotion that needs to be checked. Okay? You know that this person have hurted you in a lot of ways in the past. But you still want to, you know, like try to give it another chance or give it another try. Some of you are also dealing with a fire sign. And it seems like you are... You know, it's like things are doing okay and doing good in, you know, in both of you. But you feel like somewhere, somehow, this person is not really telling you the truth or there's something that they're not really telling you or that they are lying to you about something. Now, I also feel like some of you, if you're with the fire sign as well, you will be, um... It's like you will be disconnecting or there will be separation or someone who's going to be moving in or out of your place this month and you are going to be making the final decision. Even if you really love this person, you feel like that there's, um, you know, like it's like there's an energy inside of you that's been pulling away or like pushing this thought inside of you that you can't really be with this person and you you know, it's like you can't really see yourself spending the rest of your life with this person. Now, I also feel like some Aries are kind of entangled with another person. Now, some of you will also be dealing with an air sign. Um, this is somebody that's kind of uh, with a little bit of a behavior and attitude. But this is somebody that you've been wishing to see, to have, to be with, and to still to be back in your life. And you've been thinking about this person, whether if someday there will be any other successful connection or will the two of you will still be an item. But you know deep inside of you, 
that you will always be the last, if not second to the uh, priority list of this person. So I feel like you'll be making a lot of major decisions starting this month for the rest of the year. And even if you really want to, you still fancy, dream, and want to be with this air sign, you feel like it is much better to cut it off. Okay, either you're full of reservations right now and you don't want to go through that pain, agony, and miseries. Okay, some of you will also be dealing with some legal stuff with an air sign, and it seems like both of you will be headstrong and both of you will be ready to clash into one another. All right, some of you will also be walking away with the with this person from the past, or I feel like if um, some of you, while you walk away from a particular situation, this person from the pa yeah, past, which is a water sign, will be coming back into your life and there will be a brand new beginning. And oh, I feel like this person really means the world to you. And, you know, this water sign can give you a lot of warmth, excitement, thrill, adventure, and inspiration. Something that you've been wishing for in a relationship that you couldn't really find with this fire sign, okay? Now, the air sign is too dogmatic, and it seems like you... It's like the two of you are way too strong for one another, but you love each other, okay? Now, you're also going to be a little bit secretive during this month, not until that you're really ready to burst out that secret that your partner has been keeping from you. And I feel like once you let the truth out, you are so ready to walk away because right by the end of this month, you will be discovering a betrayal that's been ongoing for quite some time already. Now, when it comes to your workplace and when it comes to your finance, it looks like someone it's going to steal credits from you or someone will be taking something from you. Either it's money or anything that is valuable or they're going to be asking for a loan, but they don't have any plans of paying you back. Now, work will be much more busier. You will also be traveling a lot and you will also be dealing with an air sign boss or with an air sign superior, which is I feel like there will also be some contracts that needs to be executed or that needs to be um expedited because this air sign boss of yours is i feel like they're going on a holiday so they want to finish off whatever that they needed to finish off so there will be some um over um no um overtimes and hmm. you will be playing multitasking because some of you person that you're let's say for example that you're a team or that you have a partner and then the you know the other person that's supposed to handle some certain jobs or documentations are actually on leave so you don't have any other choice but to uh, work on both of your works and responsibilities well it's gonna be like it's gonna pay off and I feel like communications will also be very active during this month but I also feel like you will be dealing with some personal matters so this will be getting in the way Okay, so be very careful with your decisions, especially if you're feeling a little bit emotional and if you're also feeling a little bit blurred, okay? And this fire sign will keep on pushing and pushing and pushing and will also be tormenting at the same time. But the good news here is you will have a success or victory, okay, over a project that you're currently handling and your boss unconsciously is actually just uh, testing you. You know, how long will your patience be? How long will you persevere? How long will you, you know, take part? Or will you be giving in? Will you be um, declining or something like that? They just want to see your performance or they just want to see your attitude or handling a very difficult um, task in a very certain, in a very short period of time. Okay. So, um, looks like you're going to be getting their attention and their approval. But there is one person that is not really pleased with this news. And I expect that there will be some people who will try to turn you down. And who will also try to, you know, like uh, create some gossips right behind you. So it's already normal. And you also need to learn from this particular situation. Okay. 
and don't get too close with your colleagues or don't say too much of your confidential stuff okay money will continuously coming in and it seems like there's also a contract that you need to sign but you will be having a lot of hard time whether this is you know a good thing to do or whether this is an ideal partnership or contract to get into all right now when it comes to your love life like what i said that there are some things um that you also need to consider now if you're already married with a water sign make sure that you will be looking into all of your options okay right before you make a big decision because i feel like you're only being defensive you're living in fear or acting in your fear and you're always looking back into the past what if there's something that you can change right now and you just need to let your you know let your emotions flow and feel the love okay in your life now you I feel like you really have a lot of feelings for this person but you're so afraid of getting hurt your your walls are up and you're wearing your shield up against your body and you're always looking more into whatever that is not there okay um you will keep on looking and looking and looking that when there is a challenge and then when you feel like life is too you know like stable or a little bit boring or there's no any other action or you want to see some changes then you will be rocking the boat a little bit okay but you also need to address your issues i don't see any separation for now because your partner understands you more okay more than yourself and i feel like this whole thing that's been going on in your relationship is only a phase and this is where you're going to start thinking that yeah you know this this partner of mine is really strong and i'm really thankful for having this kind of person in my life you know because they know how to put up with my tantrums with my fears and everything else and whenever i want to push people out of my life because i'm so scared of getting hurt again they don't just you know like open the door and go or leave just like the others so that is actually a good thing um now sex life some of you are still dealing with somebody from the past but i feel like this is supposed to be like you know like over over and some of you are also dealing with someone who is much older than you but ask yourself are you really happy is this really what you're really looking for or you know because i feel like some of you you know for singles especially you want to choose the right one you want to meet the right one and you want to know if it's the right one but how can you actually do this and how can you see it with your own eyes if you're trying to close down your heart if you're so afraid of loving again if you're so afraid of taking the chance of you know getting into a relationship accepting someone in your you know as part of your life and to be a part of your dreams because you've let your guard down once and it wasn't really a very um, pleasurable experience but you know life is all about balancing it's not just all about happiness and you know it's not just all about happiness and crying or loneliness and sex and stuff like that it's it's a mixed bag you know so this month i feel like you will be meeting four or you'll be dealing with four people both at the same time but there's a part of you that still feels so empty now for those of you who's already seeing someone else or playing around with someone else or dealing casually with someone else um if you're expecting commitment or more likely that you're expecting the right things with the wrong person okay so it's up to you you can enjoy your moment together but i feel like keep your options open for now okay and some of you are looking into permanence 
but hmm. I feel like there's something that you need to understand about life that when you start accepting life's imperfections that's the only time that you will start appreciating everything that comes into you even if you have a very high standard okay now when it comes to your health reproductive system for women and ulcers breast issues bone issues and thigh it's like there's a vein in your left thigh that is uh, sometimes it feels burning sometimes it's so painful sometimes you can't really walk properly or sometimes it's throbbing okay um i mean even if you are um, actively doing some exercise or yoga i feel like it's much better for you to go and check out with the doctor you know well, like what's going on there and some of you will also have some problems sleeping and you would rather just keep on working and working and working actually you need to sleep because you don't sleep and you see the thing here is when you're with someone you keep on thinking about you know like what if this person turns around and hurt you but when you're not in a relationship you keep on looking and waiting for the right one you know like how does it feel to be with your soulmate so this is the reason why you're having a lot of hard time sleeping or not really um having that full rest at night because your mind is full of you know it's full of thoughts and full of what might have been and what could have been resistance and reservations so i also feel like some of you will also have some problems walking bone problems nerve and oh um muscle um lower back and on your shoulder and you also need to you will also be feeling a little bit spaced out or use you know sometimes people will notice that you're spaced out or you're or you're floating or you're even if you're looking at the people who's right in front of you you don't really hear them you don't really understand them because something is actually bothering you kidney problems and throat either it's sore throat or uh thyroid problems okay all right well, let's take a look to the aerial it's important to have balance work multiple jobs or projects at once making work fun see i told you now three of gabriel prosperity arising from wise planning time to take the ne time to take the next step optimistic plans that turn out as expected the wheel archangel jamiel new beginnings end of delays a change in direction that offers happiness anyway that's it for you for this month aries and if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live on the calls just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net blessings to you